Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie and in today's video, I'm gonna be filming a warehouse tour for you guys. I'm so, so excited to show you guys my setup here um, and I'm just gonna get right into it. So we are standing in my showroom. This is where we take all of our pictures for Instagram. We have this nice little backdrop here. I like to take little flat lays on the ground. This is like one of the few rooms that we have windows in. So we try to utilize the natural light. Um, but yeah, there's some really nasty carpet that we are gonna be ripping out and replacing with some cute hardwood floor that's gonna be like a nice light color. So we're really excited for that. And hopefully I'll be able to take pictures with models and photographers and just step up my online store because I really do feel that is the next step to our success. Um, but yeah, so this is where we take all of our pictures and Forgive me for kind of limping around. I just nailed my foot really bad on a mannequin uh, base yesterday. It was a big bloody mess. Um, but this is where we package up all of our orders. And this room has taken many shapes, like everything in my warehouse has. So when I first moved in here, I tried to set stuff up how I thought, you know, it would work. And you kind of just realize over time what works and what doesn't. Um, so I got these tables from Walmart. If you want to come in here, I'll show you. So I got these tables from Walmart. They're just like standard folding tables and they work great for our little packaging station here. Um, we got Gigi's little bed under there when she likes to come to work. And we built these shelves. They've been really nice for helping us store like jewelry boxes, um, boxes for sunglasses, just kind of things that we're always reaching for. And then we have our poly mailers here. We have some free totes. I always like to hook our customers up with, you know, like free little um, things in their packages that they wouldn't normally expect. It just helps them to, you know, want to purchase with you again. Um, with that being said, I'm really excited. I purchased 10,000 stickers and now we include stickers in every single package. But this company did send me some questionable stickers. They sent me like a couple free packs of things. And as we were going through, we realized that some of them were a little bit inappropriate. So that's where they go in here. Stickers that we don't want to send to customers. I need to go through all of them and make sure that um, we don't accidentally send anything offensive to people. But yeah, so here's um, just kind of like our storage area for supplies. We got tape, um, we got our little Vista print selfie cards here. It says tag us on Instagram. Um, we got our clear poly mailers just because every single item that we send out, we always make sure it's packaged so it doesn't get damaged. Um, although, oh my goodness, I have been facing so many problems with USPS lately. Like they are damaging packages like no other. I think they're just stressed out with the whole election and you know all the extra mail and stuff. But yeah, it's been kind of a struggle lately um, dealing with that. Uh, but here we have all of our masks and masks have been such a saving grace since the pandemic hit. We sell so many masks, you guys. And I'm still trying to figure out what the best way to store these is. But since we're constantly selling, selling these, constantly reaching for them, it's really nice to have the mask station just right behind the packaging station so we can just reach, pull them, and um, send them off. So yeah, if you guys have any better ideas about how I should store these, please let me know. I'm trying to figure it out. So yeah, if you guys have any idea about how to store these better, please let me know. It's always such a mystery trying to figure this stuff out because there's nobody that's telling me, you know, this is the way it should be done. I'm always figuring it out myself and sharing it with you guys. So if you guys uh, have any ideas throughout this video, drop it in the comments down below. All right, so um, we have our two iMacs here. I see that one of my employees thinks the government's spying on them, <laughs> um, and which they probably are. Did you guys see that documentary, the, what's it called, The Social Dilemma? Oh my goodness, that freaked me out. Okay, back to the video. I got this from Costco, and I used to just use a regular like home office printer, and it took so long to print everything. Me and Dylan were walking through home or Costco and he was like, you should really invest in a printer. And so I did, and it's been such a great decision. We get so much more work done now just because it spits out the invoices so much quicker than before. Um, another thing before we leave our little office here, if you guys are looking for speakers for your store, these are amazing. I highly recommend these. 
I'm not sponsored. Um, this is called the Sonos One Generation Two speaker. And I love these because they are Bluetooth speakers that sync up with each other. So I have a couple of these and I just like to have vibe out in the warehouse, put some music on. Um, they have like really good bass to them and I like it because you can put one speaker in here, one in the warehouse and it syncs. So then it's kind of like surround sound, which is nice. Um, we got our second little uh, packaging station here. I decided to get two computers just all for the purpose of speeding up work and investing in success. <laughs> so, um, all right, so we have all of our boxes here. We sell so many hats and shoes. And so we always like to have that be part of the side work and have a good stack ready to go for the day. And here it's nothing too exciting. It looks really dingy, but it's clean. The floor just has like stains on it. There used to be a chemical company here, but that's our bathroom. Nothing exciting there. Um, here are just some things I was checking out. Had to keep this top for myself. It's so cute feels really comfy. Um, but yeah, this table used to be in the Reno store and we got rid of it. So now we just kind of use it as, you know, surface, surface to do stuff. I don't know. Okay. This, you guys, this has been with me for so long and it has helped me out so much. I highly recommend you guys get one of these. These are these little carts that fold into nothing. And I used to carry all of my orders in this. I would put this in my car, pack my car up, go to the post office and bring the few orders that I had. But now I am so excited to say, you guys, we fill up two of these like every single day, whenever we do orders. It's so exciting. That's what we did like last year for Black Friday and I was freaking out. I was jumping for joy. And now that's what we do every day. And I never thought that that would be the case when I first moved in to this warehouse because I had like, a mental breakdown. You guys know that. I'll link the video down below. I had a mental breakdown when I first got this warehouse because I started in a room that was smaller than this little showroom itself here. That room was $850 a month and I was so scared to rent it and I soon outgrew that. And then I came into this place and I was so scared to pay the monthly rental rate. But you guys, I think I might outgrow this like sooner than I ever thought I could. These, I highly suggest you guys invest in if your store is starting to do pretty good and you're outgrowing like a little trolley like that. These are from Uline. Again, not sponsored. Just trying to share where I get my stuff from. But these are from Uline and these are so expensive. These are like, I think these are like two to $300 for the little ones and then for the bigger ones, it just goes up. But they're basically like little canvas totes and we get so much use out of this. I held off for the longest time just because of the price, but I honestly couldn't imagine running this warehouse without these, so thank you. Okay, so this is our selfie room. We have our little hat wall here. Got this cute little light. I'm <laughs> just drugging up all sketchy um, from World Market, but it's really cute for pictures. Try to make like a nice little backdrop in the mirror here, as you can see. I got these from uh, World Market. They're just really nice uh, sheepskin rugs, and I like to put these on the ground and then use these for little shoe pictures. So that's the selfie room. I hope to do Facebook live shows in here when I can just gain some confidence to face all the people on Facebook. I really do need to do Facebook live, but I'm scared. Okay, anyways, these are the hat rooms. And like I said, we sell a lot of hats. We love our hats. Um, so yeah, here's one of our hat rooms. There's really not much to it. There's not a lot in here right now. We're kind of low. Here's another hat room. And again, we're just trying to figure out the best way to store everything, you guys. Hats are so complicated. Please let me know if you have a better way to store hats. Um, how cute is that, you guys? I love this. It's, it's quite the hat. It's like big, but <laughs> you won't get a sunburn if you wear this because it's gonna cover your entire freaking body. Um, but yeah, so many cute hats in here, you guys. Just like to show you what we have. Really cute. Um, that's that. Okay, let's go into the main warehouse here. I'm so excited. Okay. Okay, so here's the warehouse. When I first moved in here, I only had a few little towers like this. It was a big empty room. I was cold. I was scared. I didn't know how I was going to make this work. I didn't know how I was going to pay my rent every single month because it was like 10 times as much as I was paying um, before. And so that was really, really scary. But 
uh, I stuck with it and I just tried my hardest and you guys, it worked out. It's working out right now. I don't know if it's always gonna work out in the future, but so far it's working out and I'm really, really excited. Uh, back to the warehouse tour here. This is where I keep all of my shoes. These are from Costco. Um, these are kind of expensive. They're like $200 a piece. There's so many cheaper options that you guys can find out there, but I just really wanted something sturdy <laughs> that could hold a lot. Um, so yeah, I have um, all of my shoes on these racks. And then I had a neighbor that was moving out and throwing out these. So I don't know where these came from, but these have help, helped out a lot. They helped label the towers. So for example, if you're trying to find, you know, the Hidden Hills Leopard sandals, it's skew E2, so you find tower E, find level two, one, two, okay, it's gonna be somewhere here, boom, there they are. So basically the goal right now is to have every single thing in this warehouse have a skew, a title, a name, and a place to find it. Because when I bring in new employees, it'll just be that much more easier to train them. So here are the clothes. These I got from Home Depot, these little plastic towers. I think they're like $40 a piece. Again, so many other options you, you guys can use, but that's what I do. So. Um, if you guys have any cheaper ways or better ideas than how I store my stuff, please let me know because like I said, there's no book to how this is done. But yeah, each tower is skewed by letters like A, B, C, D. I'll make a whole video on how exactly I'm skewing things right now. Um, it's always evolving as you know, I figure out what works better, but this is kind of the warehouse. You can pan down each aisle and kind of show them. This is what it looks like. So we try to keep them big enough to go through with our cart. So um, the process is basically we get all of the orders. We have a whole list of things that we need to pick with the SKUs. We go down, check them off, throw them into one of these big bins. Once we're done picking, we bring one of the bins into the warehouse and package everything, send it off, and yeah, that's that. Um, so as far as like smaller accessories go, I can show you guys what we're doing. This is kind of like a trial. I hope that it works out. I'm not sure how it'll go. But we have these grid walls and I found this on Amazon. I just started using these a couple weeks ago. So if you come back here, this is where the rest of the um, accessories are. A lot of belts as you can see. And all of the belts usually come with like these little hooks. So I figured it'd just be really easy to have them all laid out here. We're gonna have these all skewed along with all of the jewelry. And then, so as we grow, uh, I keep buying more of these and I told you guys that I only had like a little U in the very beginning with my tiny little desk in the middle and so we just bought some more because we're running out of space to put stuff because we're growing fast and so we have more towers and we're just going to keep doing that until the entire warehouse is full. Once the entire warehouse is full I'm going to push everything back as much as I can and just try to condense it and then <laughs> once that space is all used up I'll start building up vertically and I'll probably have to find a whole new system. Um, I did after just buying these. I got on my computer and I was packaging some orders and this massive online boutique ad popped up and it's this girl in her warehouse and um, she's kind of like walking through and I see in the background that she has this amazing, really tall scaffolding system with cardboard drawers that like pull out. And number one, I think that'd be a lot cheaper than what I'm doing and number two, a lot more efficient the way that the drawers are shaped. So uh, I'll probably end up doing that and scrapping this. So in the future, you guys pay attention to my videos because all of this stuff will probably be for sale at some point, you know, like the storage stuff once I figure out a better way to, you know, skew my merchandise. But as you can see, I just have a little bit more space left, not a lot. I try to keep this clear. We have a huge garage door that rolls up here. And I try to keep it clear for when UPS comes, they drop off all of the packages here and it gets stacked up against the wall super high. It's super exciting seeing how much inventory we get at once now before it was like one little box and now it's just like towers and mountains of boxes. So it's really, really exciting. Um, and then just behind you, we have like all of our uh, boxes that we use for storage or for shipping out hats and shoes. If you guys are looking for boxes, I got these from Uline, I think. I don't get any um, money from letting you guys know about anything that I mentioned in this video, just to be clear about that. But you guys, that is pretty much the video. I really hope you enjoyed it and let me know what you guys want to see from me next. Please give this video a big thumbs up here. It helps my videos like spread out on YouTube so much more. And make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on future business related videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.